Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be talking about Mars once again. But actually, a mission to Mars that, unfortunately, we didn't really get to talk much about. The mission from the United Arab Emirates. And the mission known as Hope has now recently discovered something entirely new about the planet that we didn't really know about before. Mars seems to have what's known as Aurora or Auroral Lights as well. Something that we sometimes refer to as the Northern Lights or if you're in the south, southern lights. But even though on Earth and I guess on other planets like Jupiter, these lights are produced in a very specific way and usually follow the magnetic lines of a planet, on Mars this actually creates a bit of a mystery, simply because Mars does not have a magnetic field anymore. And so how exactly is this possible and what exactly is happening here? And so it is a pretty interesting discovery and a perfect opportunity for me to now talk about the mission known as HOPE. The mission that was launched by the UAE space agency that was originally started back in 2014 and has only arrived to Mars back in February of 2021. We've discussed all of this in one of the previous videos that should be popping up at some point somewhere right there. But unlike the mission from China or from the United States, there was obviously no lander here. This was just an orbital mission, with the main purpose being studying the atmosphere and various atmospheric changes on the surface of Mars. Here's roughly what the orbit of uh, HOPE looks like, and this is basically the orbit it's going to have for an extremely long time. The mission is expected to last until 2024 at least, but will probably last much longer. This probe has several different scientific instruments, but one of them is specifically meant to try to detect ultraviolet radiation. And the main purpose for this ultraviolet light spectrometer is to try to study and to try to identify and also to map this relatively large halo of different types of gas, specifically hydrogen and oxygen gas, that's supposed to be surrounding Mars. Most of it is of course uh, escaping from the planet through various uh, interactions with the solar wind, but a lot of it could also just kind of stick around or possibly even create certain effects we've never really thought possible. And so this mission is trying to investigate all of this. And so, while studying Mars for the past few months, it essentially discovered this. These tiny patches you see right there, which seem to represent very unusual ultraviolet emissions. Emissions that seem to represent aurora very similar to planet Earth, yet very different, because these are not in actual optical light. They would not be easily visible if we were to look at them with our own eyes, but they would be visible in ultraviolet light. So these are basically ultraviolet aurora, something that nobody really knew existed on Mars. But just like on planet Earth, it's believed that these are produced in a somewhat similar manner. It's very likely glowing atomic oxygen. Oxygen that's circulating very, very high in the Martian atmosphere. And the other thing is that all of this was detected on the darker side of the planet. Essentially, this would be only visible during the Martian night. And this creates a bit of an issue. The issue, of course, being how exactly is any of this produced? First of all, we know that on Jupiter and on Earth, as I mentioned previously, the aurora generally follow the magnetic lines and are generally created along the North Pole or the South Pole. In other words, if we were to look at this simulation right here, you would probably find them somewhere right here. But we know that Mars has no magnetic field, so how is any of this possible and what exactly creates these? And it looks like the answer to this creates a lot of opportunities for us to study Mars even further. Turns out that it's probably related to something known as induced magnetosphere. It sort of kind of looks like this. Now this is something that exists on other planets, like for example it also seems to exist on Venus, and generally the way that this unusual magnetosphere is produced is when the charged particles from the solar wind interact with something charged on the surface or in the atmosphere of a certain planet. Now on Venus, it's generally created by the interaction of the solar wind with the upper atmosphere. But what could possibly do this on Mars? Currently, the scientists believe that it's probably something to do with the magnetic deposits on the surface. This map right here, created by NASA, shows us the effects from the crustal magnetism with the red patches here being much more magnetic than some of the blue patches you see on the side. With the red patches here representing the most magnetic features on the surface. This paleomagnetism is very likely the result of previous magnetic field that existed on Mars a long time ago, which essentially magnetized some of the deposits on the surface, and it's still magnetic today to some extent. Magnetic enough to produce a very, very thin induced magnetosphere. 
And so the current understanding is that because of this induced magnetosphere, some of the particles from the solar wind get to go around the planet following the very weak magnetic lines that do exist here. Something that very likely only happens when certain conditions are met, such as, for example, when Mars, and specifically certain features on Mars, are pointed in the right direction. And so, for example, this part right here will probably produce a lot of induced magnetosphere. And so it has to be pointed in the right direction for these lines to be produced. And as these charged particles go around the planet, they then strike some of the upper layers of Martian atmosphere, where a little bit of oxygen gets to be broken up, just like on planet Earth, and starts to produce the UV luminescence that we get to observe. The luminescence that produces these ultraviolet aurora. And as you can see, there are quite a lot of patches all over the surface that were detected by the scientists. With this artistic representation kind of showing us what it probably looks like. But I guess unlike Earth or unlike Jupiter, where the magnetic lines are relatively straight, since the magnetic lines produced on Mars are very likely pointing in all different directions, the aurora that are produced are also probably a lot more hectic and a lot more irregular or strange looking in shape. And so definitely a really amazing discovery and something that the scientists didn't expect to find so soon. But because of this discovery and also because of the effects we're seeing from the surface of Mars, this could also help the scientists in the future to learn more about how Mars lost its atmosphere due to the loss of the magnetosphere, which can now be studied remotely. While at the same time we can now use this to possibly map a lot of various deposits on the Martian surface and also start mapping the magnetosphere of Mars as well. Something that would be absolutely crucial for when we one day decide to move here and possibly colonize this planet. And since on Earth the color of aurora can usually tell us exactly what particles are being charged and which particles are being broken up, we can use the same observations on Mars to try to determine the exact composition of some of these upper layers. So for example here on Earth, most of these colors are formed by the breakdown of nitrogen and oxygen. Nitrogen is normally responsible for red, blue and violet colors, so the colors you're kind of seeing right here, whereas yellow and green are usually oxygen. Although it does depend on the altitude and sometimes depends on other conditions as well. So by studying Aurora we can actually learn a lot about Mars as well. Either way, this is actually one of the coolest discoveries from Mars in the last few years and something I'm sure a lot of scientists will be talking about in the years to come. For now though, that's kind of all I wanted to mention. Check out the links in the description below Subscribe if you still haven't and share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences. Also, maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining the channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Either way, thank you so much for watching, stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye bye Oh hey, maybe we should call these Morora, because it's on Mars.